Hello students. Today we'll discuss the next chapter of class 10 science that is acids, bases and salts. In the lower classes we have discussed about the acids and bases. Now just revise them. Acids are sure in taste while bases are bitter in taste. Acids change the color of blue litmus to red while bases change the color of red litmus to blue. Bases are soapy to touch and acids are non-soapy to touch. There are some substances from which we can find out that given substance is acidic or basic. These are known as the acid base indicators or simply indicators. So these are the substances which indicate the presence of acid or base in a solution. And the acid base indicators can be classified into three categories natural indicators, synthetic indicators, and olfactory indicators. These are the some examples. Litmus, you are familiar with this. Red cabbage leaves, turmeric, colored petals of some flowers such as hydrangea, petunia, geranium. These are the some natural indicators. Synth natural indicators means they occur in nature. Synthetic indicators, they can be prepared in the laboratories by chemicals like phenophthalein phenophthalein l remains silent phenophthalein methyl orange all factory indicators the substances which order means smell changes in acidic or basic medium these are all factory indicators for example vanilla onion and clove Now we will discuss one by one. Litmus solution is a purple dye which is extracted from lichen. Lichen is a plant which belongs to the division Thelophyta and is commonly used as an indicator. When the litmus solution is neither acidic or nor basic, its color is purple. And as we have already discussed, that if uh, litmus solutions or litmus papers are found or available in the two color red litmus and blue litmus next one is turmeric turmeric gives yellow color in acidic medium and brownish red in basic medium red cabbage this is purple in neutral solution and it gives red in acidic and bluish green or greenish yellow in basic solution depending on the concentration of basic solution. Phenophthalene, this is one synthetic indicator. This is colorless in acidic medium while gives pink color in basic medium. Methyl orange is the another synthetic indicator. It gives red color in acidic medium while it gives yellow color in basic medium. Now these three are the olfactory indicators, clove, onion and vanilla. Clove smells as such in acidic solution but smell losses in the presence of base. In the same way onion loses its smell when added with base it does not change its smell with acid. Vanilla the smell of vanilla vanishes with base but its smell does not vanishes with an acid. So we can see in case of olfactory indicators the indicators retains their smell as such in acidic solution but they loses their smell in case of basic solutions now these are the some examples of acids and bases which generally found in the laboratory hydrochloric acid remember its formula is hcl sulfuric acid h2so4 nitric acid hno3 acetic acid or ethanoic acid this is CS3COOH these are the acids generally occur or generally found in the laboratory bases which are used in the laboratory sodium hydroxide that is NaOH calcium hydroxide CaOH twice potassium hydroxide this is KOH magnesium hydroxide MgOH twice Ammonium hydroxide NH4OH. Now there is a one problem for you. Try to find out its answer. You have been provided with three test tubes. 
one of them contain distilled water and the other two contain an acidic solution and basic solution respectively if you are given only red litmus paper how will you identify the contents of each test tube three test tube one contain distilled water one contain acidic solution and third one contain basic solution and you are provided only with the red litmus paper then how can we find out or identify that which test tube contain contains which solution try yourself i am giving the hint as we already discussed that acidic solution change blue litmus into red basic solution change red litmus into blue and neutral solution has no effect or no color change with red litmus and blue litmus paper try yourself thank you